Hey, 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 come on in. Welcome, you guys. Bell Me Cherry is here. So, uh, I skipped a week. Sorry, it's been busy. This, my store's been dry. Uh, maybe, no. Well, yes, my store's been dry. So, I have been going for two weeks, going back and forth every other day to different stores, to my locations in the Miami areas, looking for the goods that we need to see here at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So, finally, I have a handful to share with you guys. I hope you are able to find them on your end. I hope next week or this week that we're in now gets better than last. Well, I can't say that. We did, I at the end of, um, let's say, Thursday to, well, Wednesday to Friday or even Saturday, Thursday to Friday, I was able to find some, some goods. So, um, stay tuned for that. Let's enjoy the trips. I'm, uh, once again, hoping you're able to find these on your end. So, if you're new here, welcome. Subscribe. Subscribe. Join the crew, girl. We find goods here. High-end makeup at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. It's, it's okay. We're bougieing on a budget. We find these goods here. Pat McGrath was out there. Um, the latest holiday collection is out there to find. Um, uh, what else? A lot of Mac products are out there. So th we we did find quite a few these quite a few of these things in this week's trip. So s enjoy that. Hopefully you're able to get them on your end. You look at the prices of these Pat McGrath products. You'll see what I mean. And for those who've been rocking with me, the, this lip oil is for y'all. <laughs> Juicy kisses to you all. Thank you so much for sticking through with me. Let's get to this trip. Stay tuned for the end. I have a quick haul. I'm not going to be rumbling too much. So let's get to it. Enjoy the trip. Here we are spotting this highlighter here from Bobbi Brown, Pink Glow, which we spotted in the past. $16.99 it's here for. Let's take a look at it. This is what it looks like. Here we are at Marshall. We're spotting these Morphe palettes that are resurfacing. Um, the Totally Tan and Fair Play are here. And also the 8M Medium Pride are spotted here for $10 each. And this Laura Mercier mini set um, with the setting powder, the Primer and the eye shadow stick for $24.99. This is this is not the right price for this at all. I say that because the big powder with the puff or nowhere near that price. So I'm not sure what they got going on with that. Spotting this duo lippy here from Mac, sorry not sorry, and Macadash Mare, um, or here for $19.99. Spotting this um, brush set here, Galactic Glow from Real Technique, two small eye brushes for $2.99. The Urban Decay All Nighter foundations are spotted here, two shades, six and 3.5 for $12.99. Several shades of these Revlon brushes are spotted here for $4.99. We have seen this deep um, plummy shade here, very berry. And this one here, marvelous. And this pink kish one here, ticked, ticket pink. And this one with specks of glitter or shimmer in it, just peachy. Oh, baby pink. We, I think we've seen this one. Apricute is this one. And this neutral tone one here. Ooh, something 
Naughty Nude, I think. Spotting these Bobbi Brown foundations here. Two shades, beige and natural for $16.99. From Romantic Beauty, we have these shimmer blush powders here for $3.99. Makeup Revolution has these oil control rollers here. Um, supposedly with volcanic stones to absorb the oil for $4.99. The Getting Fresh palette from Pat McGrath is spotted here, $19.99. And from Cara Beauty, we have the Planetary Divine palettes that are coming back around for $12.99. Spotting a few lock kissed um, lipsticks here from MAC. Um, Vicious. Renegade teaser. Oh, that's a sophistry. Posh. They're all here and they're going for $9.99. Japanese is coming through with some new brush sets here. Brush sponge sets. Um these look super nice and it has also a makeup remover a mini one and a sponge and these brushes has a clear handle looking super nice and it's here for $9.99 spotting these lip oils here from the creme shop um, spotting these lip oils here from the creme shop candy glaze lip oil with jojoba oil going for $5.99, $6.99. Cara Beauty is serving us some lip oil here. Um, Garden Glow and Lilac Glow with that Juicy Doe Foot for $3.99. More of these Lock Kiss from MAC. This is what they actually look like and this one is the shade Posh. And there's a few here, Teaser, Sophistry, which we have seen, um, and Vicious. Spotting this new brand here, Snow, with this lip oil for $4.99. Kevin O'Coin, spotting this lip lipstick here from them. Some Milk for $9.99. Let's see what she looks like. Someone swatched it, ruined it, but packaging is stunning though. MAC is serving us these two um, blushes here, Melba and Burnt Pepper for $12.99 each. Another shade from the NARS blushes, this one is Taos. A few shades of the a single part of the MAC's eyeshadows this one we've seen before but we have this orangey one here super suspicious suspiciously sweet frost and this one here which is couture copper and this soft pink here my tweety and they are all here for $7.99 there's a few in the back, same shade. Spotting this Polar's Choice um, Milky Toner here for $9.99. Spotting the IRL Filter Foundation here from Revolution um, and the shade FO2 for $4.99. Here we are spotting these eyeliners here, eyeliner pen from Rude Cosmetics. Um, for $3.99. We are once again being blessed um, with these ABH Norvina palettes. This is volume 3 and it's here for $16.99. Great pricing. And also the other volume here. Which one is it? Volume 4 for $16.99 as well. Spotting this Laura Mercier um, primer here illuminating a small version for 
don't necessarily grab this one because there's the big size is going around um around this time for close to that price now the primers from your mercier there's a whole bunch available this is the illuminating that we spotted in a smaller version um this one here is for 16.99 so full size of 16 rather than travel size for ten dollars there's the hydrating one the blurry one and the protecting one as well this palette here from ColourPop um is also here it's all good coming back around for $16.99 the getting fresh palette is also available again um, from ColourPop same price $16.99 actually this one is $19.99 for some reason the jewel palette is also here Play it jewel new palette here spotted from Cara Beauty Royal Affair Royal Affairs this one looks really stunning the shimmers we're spotting a few so this one is pardon my Frenchie uh, serene queen is this one with the kitty cat for $7.99 they're going for these are the shade range here we are coming across this Naked Reloaded palette. And it's here for $25. This ABH Dip Brow Gel is coming back around. This is a trio and it's here for $12.99. And the shade Medium Brown. From Glossier, we're spotting these lip balms here, mintbalm.com. And those uh, well, flavor matte for $8.99. I really want to give these a try. These um, uh, most eyeshadows from Gift Beauty. Um, ASKA Vibes and Bouncing Shoes are spotted here for $4.99. Not sure when this came out. This Too Faced um, Rich Dazzling Lip Gloss. This is a shimmery lip gloss in the shade Sunset Crush for $8.99. And this is what she looks like. Really pretty. Uh, a new shade range spotted here from MAC. This is a blush in the shade So Natural. Here for $12.99. I wonder if this will show on me. Coming across this MAC Studio Fix, um, Studio Fix Mattifying Primer here going for $16.99 <coughs> heavenly skin um, brush here from it cosmetics for $14.99 this literally looks like cloud you guys this is a uh, what a powder brush spotting this La Roche um, product here this is what an acne treatment going for $14.99 and another mascara from Revolution this time with Fi Lash False Lashes and this one is also for $4.99 from Revolution Pro we're spotting these mascaras here um, in the shade black triple threat mascara and it's here for $4.99. Spotting this Pat McGrath 5 pen palette here. And we did spot the face palette of the same collection last time. And this one is going for $12.99. Not bad. From Glossier, we have this set here mascara and two eyeliners here going for $19.99. Here we are from Brew Cosmetics refining this brow pin here, Brow Artist, and the shade, this coloring I'm assuming, taupe, and they're here for $3.99. This plump and fresh primer here from Catrice for $3.99. More products of KVD, these are gel liquid contours in the shade Cold Deep 10, 10 Deep Neutral 20, and 10 Neutral 30. They're here for probably $9.99, $7.99 actually. From Catrice, we have this um, 
glowy spray here hydrating with cactus flower and pineapple extra going for $3.99 spotting this ABH brow kit here with the pomade the gel and uh, what what else is on here mini brow gel brow freeze wax and a dual ended brush in the shade dark brown I'm hoping all of it is on here and it's going for $12.99. BD, we're spotting this pore refining primer for $9.99. Spotting this MAC um, palette here in the shade light medium. This is a face palette for $24.99. We've seen this way back, but they are coming back around. These are the shade range up here. This mineral sunscreen here from Polar's Choice, FPF 30. There's different ones, normal to dry, or you need to combination. And they're here for $7.99. Speaking of e.l.f., we have these holy hydration. These are makeup removers for $3.99 as well. It has a separation on here. Shake it real good and remove uh even waterproof makeup it says here for $3.99 from flower balm i'm spotting this seal to deal luminizing setting spray here this is a similar uh format to the elf hydro grip i'm wondering you guys the difference between the two the elf one is also of a hydrating one this swirl of pink substance on here is it's kind of intriguing and it's only for 3.99 it's not um it, i think it's worth the try so we're spotting this face palette here from pat mcgrath um if i'm not mistaken it says your supernova siren perhaps that's the name of the collection 14.99 it's going for i have it separate on here this is it and it has the um, burnished honey midnight orchid and solar synthesis um, blush highlight and bronzer this is what she looks like really pretty and there's another one similar different shade this one right here so this is blue and the bow on this one is purple um, this one is the Nirvana and bloom collection if I'm not mistaken same price and this is what she looks like also pretty but the other one is deeper to my close to my color complexion Spotting this, these um, highlighter palettes here from MAC. Different ones. This one is the shade of uh, Shimmy, Peach, Shimmy Peach, $16.99. This one is going for. This is the bronzy one with Paradise Shimmy Peach and, um, and Glow Baby Glow. More deeper shade range. And this one is getting glowing the golden one with gold coast coasting getting glowing rosy sheer i have one of them i cannot i believe i have the gold one this one i'd have to double check but for 16.99 i don't know if i need two of them in my life spotting more pat mcgrath products here these are the divine blushes um in the shade cherish and love struck for 14.99 let's see what they look like this is the shade cherish the baby pink one and this is love struck a deeper ver a deeper pink shades of another collection this one is divine rose three for 14.99 and this is what this one looks like. Yeah, this brow gel from MAC. Um, Big Boost Fiber Gel. This is in the shade Flinch. This is the color for it. Alrighty, so we're here for the quick haul, right? Thank you for sticking through or staying through the end. You get to see the goodies I was able to find. 
um on my end well that i grabbed on my end because i sure did not go all ham as i would normally do um in the past with these new with these new finds however i'm grabbing the stuff that i feel like i need a little somewhat um certain staple products that i could use at you know right then and there instead of sitting here on my shelves i'm trying to work real hard and using my goods you putting all of my products to good use i need to start seeing some empties i need to start showing some videos of empty um you know products containers that i've enjoyed and that i've used and the reason why i like them and what i have noticed differently from using them all of that good good stuff so i'm on the roll for that to happen eventually um <clears throat> So, going into what I found, um, I don't think I filmed this one, but this is hair product. That's for my mom. Um, this is a 44 Iron Guard from Chi, this brand. I'm not sure if you guys use these this brand. This is a heat protecting spray and um, for $11.99. I have not used it on her hair yet, but I used the spray, the hairspray. I bought also at the same time, and it's the number one, the number five hold. She's still rumbling. She's still um, raving about how her, how her hair is still holding up. She has natural textures from Monday's hairstyle, and we're on Wednesday. So can't wait to see how that does on her hair um next thing sprays that i grabbed um i did get this flower um beauty is it flower beauty or flower makeup brand this here looks very similar to this here you see it the oil with the middle part here something you know powdery and then the liquid substance at the bottom i don't know shake not quite but you see how this raves about being um, shockingly fine mist? This one is probably a teensy step above. What am I saying? No. Shockingly fine mist. We found a dupe. Yeah. Because it's the same feeling. And it's the same stuff. Do y'all see the, the, look at the mist on the camera. Right? Hopefully it's not messing up my screen. It's still, the, it's the same thing. I feel the same thing. I feel the same thing. Again, I feel the same thing. And this was what? Although, I love me my, my Elf um, products. Well, how much was this? Probably $10. This is for $4.99. Give this a shot when you find this at TJ Maxx or Marshall. This was from TJ Maxx. Let me know if you have this. Use this and let me know the difference in the comment in the comment below. Although Elf is still cheap, but for it was no, it was not for $3.99. No, it wasn't. So do check that out. Okay. I grabbed me the um makeup remover from elf as well i my son broke my, the makeup remover i was using because it was in a glass bottle yes i'm putting him out there <laughs> but um i grabbed me the origin um checks and balance remover or milky oil cleanser makeup melter type of remover um, I've always wanted to grab this. I've seen this. I've filmed this. I love the aesthetic of it all, the packaging, the top, and everything. Um, this one is $14.99, whereas this was, what, another $3.99? I already used it. I used it last night, actually. I love this. 
I have not used this yet, but I love this. Around my eye area, you feel nothing. I went in deep into my eyelashes, my waterline to get all that gooey stuff out of there. My eyes felt no sensitivity. It went all in there and I was able to use my um, makeup remover rag. It's not a rag. It's like a, one of those silky soft makeup remover um, stuff. And then wash my face. My face was squeaky clean. Like I double cleanse of course. But this really did that. Um, can't wait to see how this does. This claims to be a milky um, substance. Not sure if it's going to be one of those that foams up afterwards. Or like once the water, once you melt, mix it with water. We'll see. This is going to be on my bougie um, makeup removing days. Because the e.l.f. one is $3.99. I could use this all day long and it'll do me the same way. I probably, I don't know. Do I want to return the origin one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty of this haul. My very excitement of this haul. Well, no, before we get to that, I did grab me this MAC mattifying primer. There have been, there There was a lot of MAC products available. The primer, some foundations, some lipsticks. Um, um, but, and then this, I can't wait to see how this does. 24 hour shine control primer on the side note you know what i've been using you know what i used yesterday this is a sample size of the um one size oil sucker primer yo this has magic in it i was shooken okay i'm i'm gonna get the size the regular size this this was me being cheap i didn't want to dive into it before trying it so yeah it convinced me in one try and i've been using this well i used it and i used this once and i'm gonna keep using it because i don't want the simple amount to go to waste and your the girl hooked me up with two samples she was so lovely so we have enough for quite a few um uh makeup wear but i do want to see the difference with this one to see if it really holds up matte because I have, you'll be proud of me, I have been making an attempt. I did say I wasn't going to be rumbling on this video. I don't I don't know what's wrong with me. I have been, listen, I love, 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 love makeup. I love the sight of makeup. I love the smell of makeup. I love the everything of makeup, right? When I was little, I used to eat my mom's cosmetics. Like when it smells sweet and fruity type of thing, moisturizer, if it smells good, I put it in my mouth. I remember like it was yesterday. Um, but I am going to tell you here, I love the stuff. I try them. I test them out. I, when I'm stepping out, stepping out, I will, you know, beat the face just right. But on a daily, daily, I really have been neglecting that part because I'm always in a rush in the morning. But what I've been doing for the past few weeks, girl, is making the time in the morning to love on myself i put a reminder to get pretty in the morning and i've been doing just that did i wear makeup today no i didn't because i was one this is this was one of my rushing day but always stay consistent it's like it's the effort that counts make the attempt stick to it the best that you can i'm trying to stick to it the best that i can to you know enjoy all of my goods here because because before you know it they expire the money goes down the drain you don't get to really really know the product so kudos to me so um the most exciting part of my finds were these pat mcgrath five pen palettes um this one is the i, I guess is this collection somewhat jewel or bijou or something i'm not quite sure about the it has to be something with jewel or bijou because this one is um bordeaux bliss the name of this palette with the purple bow looking like this and the purple bow 
we grabbed this face and eyeshadow palette last time and this one has nine pen of eyeshadows and two blushes on here like so um we did cover that so now we have these five pens matching the whole you know the whole flare the whole vibe and everything looking all girly and pinkish and cute um I'm on the lookout of the blush and contour and highlight palette of the same purple bow for this other set we ju I just showed you guys because this blue bow is supposedly, what is it called? Uh, Supernova Siren, this one is called, and it has a highlight, another blush, and a bronzer now i played around with the bronzer this bronzer would look super nice i feel like it's deep enough for me for my skin tone it's on the red um undertone wait where did it go somewhere right here y'all could could y'all still see it so um and the highlights and everything that blush though looks so pretty look at the bronzer on my finger that blush is really my vibe and the highlight well why leave the highlight out right this this one has a oh oh this is pretty this has a nice gold pinkish undertone to it <gasps> that looks so stunning you guys look at this how it melts on the skin yo and the blush and the bronzer everything can't wait to use that um so this is the blue bow i did find also another five pen of the blue bow uh packaging this one is lunar nightshade it's called we can see why with these deep blue, grayish, dark um, shades on here. You could see I'm not even attempting to touch. I don't even wanna touch these shades. I'm like, oh, let's not ruin it. But we bought them to use, right? <laughs> That's the promise I made to myself. We gotta use this stuff. So let's just lightly touch these babies here to show you guys what else how they look i don't think this swatch does it any justice but we're gonna get down and dirty with these palette i promise i promise you guys so these were my finds i'm excited with these um five pin shimmery palette this one has all shimmers i guess one satiny shade and this one has some shimmers in this matte which is the eggplant shade on here i cannot wait to use these you guys pairing that with my bigger pat mcgrath palettes um that face palette this highlight i can't wait to try it i can't wait to find a purple bow of this palette on um at the stores so hopefully you guys are able to i think i saw it but it was empty somebody i don't know what they did with that product child they just the, it was just the shell of the product that was left there nothing else was in there um but I'm glad I was able to find these. So let me know on your end what you're finding as far as the Pat McGrath collections. And um, chit chat about it. I will definitely dive into these products and create looks with them. So stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it for this haul, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking through. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for everything. And um, so, yes, 
let's continue supporting enjoy all the videos i have lined up on the side here for y'all um and i'll see you guys on another one thank you for watching